she was constantly yelling and threatening us. I'm sorry, I am a 10 year old. What do you want me to do with that? So I feel like most of us can relate to having a bad teacher or two. I'd say like 80% of the teachers I've had in my life were overall pretty good, but there were definitely a few that were difficult to deal with. To start off, let's go back all the way to when Mini Mira was in fourth grade. Now, one thing you should know about me was I was a self-labeled good kid in elementary school, which basically means I was super freaking annoying. I was pretty much scared shitless of everyone with an ounce of authority, and I'd have horrible anxiety about being even a few minutes late to class to the point where I'd ask playground supervisors multiple times a day just how long until the bell rang. I was also a total tattletale, so yeah, I was that kid. I was that kid. In summary, I didn't dare step a toe out of line back then. For the most part, most of my teachers really liked me and tended to understand my whole deal. So that year, I was in a 4 or 5 split with a homeroom teacher I really liked. But for one block of the day, we'd study health and career with a teacher I'll name Miss Trenchbull because it is very appropriate. Now, from minute one, our entire class knew this lady was absolutely insane. She commanded our class like a drill sergeant, and any questions or talking back, even if it was perfectly innocent, would be met with this very physically imposing woman just absolutely yelling her lungs out at us. Every single member of our class was scared of her. There wasn't a single day we could get through without her going on some tirade about something someone had done. It got to a point where we just kind of expected her to be yelling her lungs out for half the class. Now, enter Callum, who was a grade older than me, and honestly, I give this guy big props because he did not take any of her crap. Callum was known to be a bit of a class clown, but he had a good head on his shoulders, and everyone knew it, including the teachers. Basically, whenever she'd go on her tirades, he was the only one to actually talk back to her. It was honestly awesome, and at the time, I didn't really have a whole lot of respect for kids who disobeyed in class or made a bunch of jokes, but honestly, she had it coming. She did not think so highly of him, ended up kicking him out of the class permanently, and keep in mind, this is elementary school, and this put him at serious risk for actually repeating an entire grade if he got an incomplete in this class. There were no other health classes he could sit in on, it was only Miss Trunchbull. So of course Callum's mom had to get involved. The angel she was, she actually sat in on the class so she could judge this teacher's behavior and have her son able to participate in the class. Naturally, Miss Trunchbull was on her best behavior for the first time that entire year, in a sickeningly sweet kind of fake way, which his mom even knew it was a load of crap because everyone was telling her how horrible this teacher was. It wasn't just Callum. Everyone was telling their parents, this woman is crazy. She scares us. She's threatening during class. I don't know what to tell you. Please help. The, the administration didn't do anything they knew. It, Callum's mom was the only one to step up. Thankfully, Callum was allowed back in class after that incident, but her behavior did not change at all. Now, throughout this entire thing, I'd kind of avoided being singled out at least for the most part. Most of her tirades were about the entire class or like one kid going out of line. So I tended to keep my head down, but that all changed in the last incident I remember happening with Miss Trunchbull which was towards the end of the year assembly. We had just come back from it and went straight to her class afterwards. I made the mistake of politely asking her how we were going to work since we didn't have our pencil boxes. I was just wondering if we had to go back and get them or something. She, she didn't like this. <laughs> uh, I remember her yelling at me verbatim, What do you think I am, stupid? I was gonna let you play outside, but I'm not going to now. <laughs> I don't remember what we ended up doing for the end of the block, but I, I do remember crying to my homeroom teacher after school. Again, it was near the end of the year, it might have been the last day, I'm genuinely not sure. But she didn't come back the next year, thank god. She should have been let go of sooner, I don't know why she wasn't. I don't think she should be allowed to teach, genuinely. Because she was constantly yelling and threatening us, and I'm sorry, I am a ten year old, what do you want me to do with that? So I, I hope to god she is not within feet of a school, because that was ridiculous. Now, my next horrendously bad teacher didn't happen until my early years of high school, thankfully. And at this point, if you had a bad teacher, you could transfer. But at the time, I was pretty used to supposedly strict teachers and often found it was more of a teaching style than anything. Unfortunately for this teacher I had, that wasn't the case. <laughs> 
pretty much everyone I knew who took her class after me hated her, which unfortunately I didn't find out until afterwards. Now, a big problem with this class was I was also seated with a girl who was like a little copy paste of this teacher. They were both incredibly snippy, mean, and often degrading to where you would get the sense sometimes that they were trying to embarrass you. There were a couple times where this teacher would make out loud comments to herself while marking students' work, or if a student was absent, she would say, oh, so-and-so is getting a letter home. It's like, seriously, I can hear you. I should not be able to know this. This shouldn't be any of my business. By the way, yes, she did send me a letter home for my absences. Undiagnosed chronic pain is a bitch. What can I say? Yeah, that was fun. Now, of course, the teacher loved this one girl because she babysat the teacher's children. So while everyone else was getting snapped at for not focusing, this girl was allowed to put on music and dance around her desk. Seriously. This was the year All About That Bass came out, and I swear to God, she's the reason I hate that song. The teacher loved these antics, of course, but it was really disrupting for the class where little Miss Hannah Montana is dancing around the desk and we're trying to do work, you know? So for that year, we had to read an incredibly racially charged book. It's part of the curriculum for the entire grade, so I'm a little reluctant to name it since I know if someone knew me in real life, they would immediately be able to pinpoint who this teacher was. But I do remember it being a pretty interesting book. Now... This teacher read a lot out loud to us and did not care to censor herself during any of the reading or class discussions, which I know some people will have varying thoughts on this in an educational setting. I'm a very white woman, so is this lady. I'm in no position to tell people how they should feel about this subject, but I cannot underestimate how disrespectful this teacher was on multiple occasions during this unit, so I'll just let you take that how you will. It was very uncomfortable. (laughs) Anyways, eventually we're assigned a project on writing profile descriptions for all of the characters through the lens of the black lead, and one of the characters was described as poor white trash, in quotes, to which the teacher yelled at me as I presented that I could not say that because it was racist. It kind of threw me for a loop given that not only was that the entire point of the book, It was also a direct quote. I mean, I talked to a couple other people to make sure I wasn't crazy, since I tend to overthink these things. Even now, I'm thinking, was I in the wrong? You know, let me know. Am I the problem? I I don't discount that. Maybe I am. Who knows? But I did talk to a few other people, and they felt kind of uncomfortable about it. I don't know. It was... It it was kind of hypocritical, not gonna lie. It was very much a, oh, you have a problem with this, but you don't have a problem with this? It, mm. <sighs> Obviously, I've graduated now. Um, I've been out for a few years. But I did ask a relative because I was curious about who her teachers were that year, and apparently she had this lady. She hasn't changed. <laughs> At all. Bad takes during class and all. I'm not really surprised, to be honest. Now, our next story happens just after Remembrance Day, which is actually a holiday here that marks the end of World War I and celebrates veterans and those who have died in the line of duty. As per every year, the art department was tasked with making the decorations, and they were put up all around school, mostly around the gym because that's where the assembly was going to be. Some classes made paintings, paper wreaths, I think one kid made a sculpture that year, and every block worked really hard on it. My art teacher, who I still absolutely adore, organized everything and put up the decorations with the help of the students. For context, she's just a super sweet person and always really felt like a mother figure to me, and I know I'm not the only one who felt that way. Now. <laughs> Our antagonist here was in the PE department, who thankfully never taught me personally, but given the nature of gym class sometimes being mixed with the other classes, he was always around, you know? I found him kind of scary back in the day since he was always yelling at his students from a lawn chair, and he just had that kind of vibe that he could snap at any moment. Honestly, I've heard some good things from some of his students, but... Most people I know tried to transfer him from his block on reputation alone or badmouthed him. So, a little under a week after the Remembrance Day assembly, I was in art class, and our teacher needed to leave the room for a bit. After a while, we started to hear some yelling, and all of a sudden we see this man charge into the art room holding about five or so paper wreaths and throwing them down on the table. Everyone was really confused and wondering what the hell the commotion was and why this gym teacher was tearing artwork off the walls. Turns out, not only did he go on a tirade ripping down students' work and even damaging a good chunk of it, he also screamed in my art teacher's face. 
Apparently, to him, it had been up too long. He gave some lame excuse to administration about how a relative of his had been in the war, which really had no bearing on what he was doing since it was meant to be a tribute. I was in 11th grade at the time, so about four years of gym classes and kind of being scared shitless of this guy the entire time. I feel like it was unfair in some degree because there were so many rumors going on about him. But when you see something like this firsthand, it definitely puts things into perspective. It was over one of the most seemingly innocuous things, because even if there was a bigger issue with the display and it genuinely bothered him, he could have had that conversation and most likely been accommodated. But instead, he went straight to ripping stuff off the wall. I think my art teacher genuinely just wanted the art to be appreciated for a little longer because we were in such a rush for the assemblies. Like, I know, I did like two paintings that year because for some reason I took AP and regular art in the same year. Thankfully, not many of the bigger art pieces were touched and it seemed like mostly only the paper wreaths were damaged, but still, like, he ripped it down off the wall. Some of it got destroyed, unfortunately. Now, thankfully, I have been out of school for a while, and, you know, I'm able to laugh at a lot of these things now, and these aren't the last of my bad teacher stories. These are just, like, the worst offenders, really. And I, I'm really thankful that a lot of my teachers were good and accommodating, but I, I've definitely had a couple. Let me know if you want to hear more bad teacher stories. I'm not sure how many more I have, to be honest. They might be smaller chunks. Thank you guys so much for watching. Big thank you to my $10 and up Patreon members, Evil Chan and Kovi. I will see you all soon. Have a good week, guys.